what was particularly striking for us about working directly in front of the current art space and studio in downtown Chapel Hill was how actually there's a void, a non-presence of history. There is something that feels so corporate and sanitized. You cannot receive really through the body like a sense of, of history. idea was really considering what a monument is and how we build it and who is this we that builds a monument. How could we build a monument that will be ever building itself through the gathering of a we in the room. This property where we are standing wouldn't have been possible if the university hadn't accumulated a pretty good amount of wealth thanks partly to the sale of its People. Most of my work centers around the political nature of what it means to be black from Chapel Hill. So I knew a lot of that history already and was really excited about trying to figure out how we were going to incorporate that into this work. There was a sharing of the research with CJ. And it was CJ who said, I feel that this is a poem and I would like to do this. I would like to take this on and I would like to speak this. The eclipse begins with an embodied experience of weight and gravity and the embodied experience of noticing. So it's, it's a somatic experience. Eclipse has first created a container. Everyone that's been involved has made it safe to show up. Rehearsals were spent just getting to know each other. Well, I mean, I don't think I've ever cried with people in a rehearsal before. So once that had happened, I was like, this is so special. So on UNC's campus, we would look at the bricks and the buildings and the architecture around us and see if the buildings and the architecture had stories to tell. Through those somatic experiences, my body was really able to seep into the land a little bit. People are kind of coming in from wherever they're coming in from. We are trying to make a bridge for them to sink into a more present state. That happens uh, in the moment of passing the brick gravity, a force that draws the bricks and earth together. The bricks are the objects that we speak about which draw us back to um, enslaved labor. I went deeper and deeper with each rehearsal. The deeper I got, more visions, more stories, more whispers would happen. But all of those things happen to find you at one moment crying and you don't know why. I was interested in the process of how bricks were made before we had machines. And I found some pre-recorded sounds of fire and bricks. I also used the sound of a kiln. The audience members are holding these bricks that are getting heavier and heavier, and I feel like that heavy delay on the sound of fire. It feels like time is being suspended. The performance itself is built as a circle. The way the whole performance proceeds, from the outside to the lobby, to the performance space, and out again to the space where we started, is a soul, a circle. AJ never knew where people would stand. We asked people, just go stand anywhere in the space. And some people got right up where he usually would go. And there was always a tension. Starting from the monuments and breaking that down as a structure that was made by someone else that's not necessarily for me, then taking that and turning it into my own where I climb on the bricks and create a new stance that is a powerful stance that feels supported even though underneath it might still be rocky and it might still be bumpy. 
when we're talking with our friends, you know, we, we sit in a circle naturally, right? Or we sit around the campfire to share stories. And so being in circle really is about sharing our stories. You know, we all have experienced joy. We've all experienced longing. We've all experienced um, wanting to belong or not belong. If we want to provoke change, we need to start with our bodies. But because there is a hierarchy in the society in like cognitive function being at the top of the hierarchy and the body being just at the service, we want to flip that dynamic to the body at the center. There was not for us an explicit intention to create a community, but there was a deep investment and appreciation in each of the people by placing relationship at the center, by committing to relationship with each of the people. Uh, there's a sort of a, an emergent community that has been created, and that's wonderful. When our heart opens where it hasn't before, um, that's where the good stuff can happen.